This is Radio Nepal. I'm Koshal Kimire with the news. The headlines first. House of Representatives meeting postponed till tomorrow. Meeting failed to enter agenda yesterday after CPNUML's obstruction. Government spokesperson and communication minister Rekha Sharma urges concerned sides to cooperate in investigation into recent gold smuggling scam. Over 10,000 dengue cases confirmed across the country so far and 41 migrants die in shipwreck of Italy. Now the news in detail. The House of Representatives meeting has been postponed till tomorrow after it ended yesterday without entering the agenda following the obstruction from the main opposition party CPN UML. The CPNUML lawmakers obstructed the proceedings of the House of Representatives yesterday, soon after the session. UML lawmaker Surya Badu Thapa, at the beginning of the meeting, repeated his party's demand that an investigation committee should be formed for proving the recent gold smuggling scam. The CPNUML is calling for the formation of a probe committee to investigate the smuggling of 100 kilograms of gold through the Triven International Airport on the 18th of July. The House of Representatives will next meet at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Likewise, the CPNUML continued its obstruction in the meeting of the National Assembly yesterday as well. The UML obstructed the Assembly session from moving ahead its business after lawmakers put their views on party basis in the beginning of the session. National Assembly Chair Ganesh Prasad Timilsina removed the agenda of the meeting as the Assembly could not take up the stipulated agenda yesterday. Earlier, speaking in the beginning of the session, National Assembly lawmakers from the ruling parties urged the main opposition party to allow the parliament to carry out its business by removing the obstruction. However, lawmakers from main opposition party have stuck to their stance, saying the parliament could not move ahead its business until their demand was met. The next meeting of the National Assembly has been scheduled for 11 a.m. tomorrow. Communication and Information Technology Minister and Government Spokesperson Rekha Sharma has urged everyone to trust the undergoing investigation into the gold smuggling case. Unveiling the decisions of Tuesday's Cabinet meeting yesterday, Minister Sharma sought cooperation in the ongoing investigation investigation into the case from all concerned sites, including the main opposition CP and UML. The communication minister added that another decision could be made regarding the investigation if necessary. She stressed completing the Central Investigation Bureau, CIB of Nepal Police, led ongoing investigation at the earliest. On a different note, Minister Sharma said the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development was making a plan to control lumpy skin disease and provide relief to the affected farmers. The cases of dengue fever are increasing across the country. According to the Epidemiology and Disease Control Division, the disease has spread to 74 districts with confirmed cases of 10,726. It has so far caused seven fatalities. Division Director Dr. Rudra Prasad Marasini informed that monsoon rains and inadequate sanitation practice have led to the rise of the disease. If the ongoing trend persists, the infection is anticipated to reach its peak during August and September. The 29th International Day of World Indigenous Peoples has been was observed across the country yesterday by organizing various programs. Addressing a program organized to mark the day, Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda expressed the government's commitment to the preservation, promotion and development of all languages, literature, culture, sociology and philosophy concerning the indigenous communities in Nepal. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs, Narvan Kaji Shrestha, has said regulations related to citizenship would be brought at the earliest. Addressing a discussions program on the implementation of the Citizenship Act yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister Shrestha stated that preparations were underway to present the regulation related to citizenship in the Council of Ministers very soon. 
he believed that the regulation would help make citizenship certificate issuance process more systematic and organized. The Deputy Prime Minister reiterated that the Constitution and the Act had made provision wherein the offspring born to Nepali mother can easily get citizenship certificates. The government has formed a probe committee to investigate the incident of force used by police in a sit-in protest staged at police range Teku on July 31st. The protesters were protesting after an advocate made a controversial statement about the marital practice of a few indigenous communities in Nepal. Spokesperson at the Home Ministry, Joint Secretary Naren Prasad Patrai, shared, shared that the five-member probe committee was formed under the coordination of the Under Secretary at the Ministry, Ram Bahadur Sai. The probe committee was asked to submit its report within ten days after carrying out an investigation into the incident. Representatives of the District Administration Office, Kathmandu, Kathmandu Valley. Police Office and National Investigation Department are the members of the committee. Similarly, another five-member probe committee was also formed to investigate the death of two inmates in Sankwa Sabha jail. The inmates were Binod Tolangi and Akas Balami, also known as Bikas Shrestha. They died following the scuffle between inmates in the prison. You're listening to Radio Nepal's 8am English News Bulletin. Time for a short break now. Bazu Darsan Bagiwani Babu Ramri Ipung Vani Hazur Ramri Pugi Utsai Mir College Go Best Friend Naste Bazu Naste Aunula Vitre Unsa Bazu Oni Dada to Office Gosak Nubolai Umato Bianeo Unsa to Peru Fresu de Gonuno Makana de Argo de Gorsai Os Os Bazu Oi Wife Evolani Password Magna Eh Topani NTC Co Sosto De Pack Sotesani E Ora NTC Co De Pack Lina Asterix So the Pondra has Dial Gorna Nepal Telecom Rastraku Sanja. You're listening to Radio Nepal's 8am English News Bulletin. Now on to more news. Social activist and president of the Dalit Society Development Forum, Saraswati Nepali, has been named the 2023 Global Anti-Racism Champion by the U.S. Department of State. For over two decades, Nepali has advocated for the rights of marginalized caste, disabled individuals and the impoverished in Nepal. Her noteworthy accomplishments include securing legal land rights and justice for numerous Dalit families in Nepal's rural western regions. Notably, she achieved the first successful prosecution of caste-based discrimination in Nepal's history in 2007. She received the award from the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, amid a special ceremony. Nepali's persistent efforts exemplify courage and dedication in the pursuit of equality. Established in 2023, the Global Anti-Racism Champions Award honors individuals from civil society globally who have demonstrated exceptional courage, strength, leadership and commitment to advancing the human rights of members of marginalized racial, ethnic and indigenous communities. Now on to some international updates. 41 migrants have died in a shipwreck off the Italian island of Lampedusa. According to the BBC, a group of four people who survived the disaster told rescuers that they were on a boat that had set off from Sfax in Tunisia and sank off its way to Italy. The four survivors, originally from the Ivory Coast and Guinea, reached Lampedusa on Wednesday. The survivors, three men and a woman, told rescuers that they were on a boat carrying 45 people, including three children. They added that they were rescued by a cargo ship that then transferred them to an Italian Coast Guard vessel. More than 1,800 people have lost their lives so far this year in crossing from North Africa to Europe. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. According to the Meteorological Forecasting Division, the weather will be generally to mostly cloudy throughout the country. Light to moderate rain is likely to occur at some places of Kosi, Mathes, Bagmati, Gandaki, Lumbini and Sudur Pashchim provinces and at a few places of Karnali province. There are also chances of heavy rainfall with thunder and lightning at one or two places of Kosi province, Mathes, Lumbini and Sudur Pashchim provinces. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin. But before wrapping up, let's have a reminder of the headlines once again. 
House of Representatives meeting postponed till tomorrow. Meeting failed to enter agenda yesterday after CPNUML's obstruction. Government spokesperson and communication minister Rekha Sharma urges concerned sides to cooperate in investigation into gold smuggling scam. Over 10,000 dengue cases confirmed across the country so far and 41 migrants die in shipwreck off Italy. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website, www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.